Hey guys, if you want to dominate in Madden 18, head on over to Madden247.com where you can pick up the full access guide to Madden 18 and any ebooks. This is the best content that you're going to find anywhere and it's more than half off other websites. And if you want to support me directly, head on over to Patreon.com where not only are you going to be getting the best content, but you're also going to be entered into giveaways. So if you're interested, head on over to the links in the description below. What's up guys, we are back today with a video on if you are picking up the GOAT edition to see which of the five players would be best to fit your team uh, scheme or which one has the best value. The first one we're going to take a look at is Tom Brady. Uh, he's one of the GOATs that you can pick. You see he's a great pocket passer. Uh, if you notice, all the stats though this year for base players uh, right out the gate are going to suck. So these are the best of the best almost. But if you take a look at Tom Brady, he's got 82 throw power, 86 short, 85 medium, 82 deep throw. Now that's really good for uh, a pocket passing quarterback. You see he only has 58 speed, so he's not going to be able to uh, scramble. I believe mobile quarterbacks are going to be good this year. Plus, uh, this type of quarterback, I believe, uh, you know, you can get later on, about mid-season or so. The stats are going to start boosting up, so quarterbacks are um, really replaceable in Madden. Uh, so I would not go out and waste my uh, my GOAT player on a quarterback because, uh, like I said, the quarterbacks are going to be coming around. Uh, and you could probably find a better quarterback uh, about week two, week three, or four possibly. Next up, we have Ray Lewis. Uh, he's actually really good. 81 speed, 85 excel, uh, 86 block shit, 86 hit power. But the, the real thing is his pass rush for some reason is really high for power moves. So you could actually put him at the defensive uh, outside linebacker and have him rush off the edge. Now this is possible for him to stay on the team for a while because of the 87 power move. You will not be using him uh, as much once you get a faster, uh, better player. But this guy can definitely stay on uh, in passing situations and even in the run situation because of his uh, 85 strength and 86 block shed. So he's one of the guys I'll be looking at when Madden 18 comes out. Um, to pick up for one of my GOAT players. Next up is Jerry Rice. This is another player that could stay on your team for a while. He has 84 route running, 84 catch, 82 catch in traffic, um, and 85 speed, 86 excel. Um, like I said, you know, you have to have at least three or four receivers on the field. So this guy, once you get a great number one, he could bump to number two. And you get a good number two, he could bump to number three, and number three to four, and so on. So this is a guy that has longevity on your team. Um, another great player to look at. Receivers, DBs, and linebackers are the way you want to go, um, in my opinion, because of the amount of players that you have to have on the field. It's not like a quarterback where you can only have one on the field at a time. Here we go with the running back, Barry Sanders. Uh, like I said a minute ago, um, you can only have one running back on the field at a time. And I believe in Madden, uh, running backs are a dime a dozen. So you can always pick up a great running back anywhere um, throughout the year, especially in the beginning of the year. Plus, I don't know how the juking is going to work. Spin moves are going to work if they need to be 90 or higher and he's just missing that tier. So Barry Sanders or the running back, um, I would definitely not get him um, just because you can only have one on the field at a time. And the last one, the one I'm probably looking to get is Deion Sanders. Uh, this is a really, really good player. Uh, his coverage stats are really good. Speed, excel, agility, all that is really good. The only knock that he has is, of course, his block shedding and tackling. But you don't get Deion Sanders to block shed and tackle. You get him to cover. And the thing with corner is you have to have at least two on the field. Um, possibly three or even four depending on what set you're in but you can definitely uh, bump him down as you go on throughout the year and he can stay on your team for a really long time so this is a guy him Ray Lewis and Jerry Rice are the top three guys I would look to get my favorite would be this Deion Sanders just because I believe he's the best overall goat has the best stats and the longest longevity to be on my team so I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video on which goat to pick. Uh, it's up to you. Like I said, I always look for longevity. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Madden 18 does come out this week. Uh, can't wait to play it. Uh, if you want a chance to win Madden 18, become a full access member for only $30. Or you can become a patron for only $5 a month and get the same exact content. And what that includes is the best schemes, tips, blitzes, and any type of glitches found in Madden 18. You will definitely get those. 
So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great Madden 18 content.